In this lesson, we are going to learn tuples. It is one of the four built-in data structures in Python, and we use it to store multiple items in a single variable. So, where is the difference between tuple and list? Lists can also store multiple items. First of all, tuples have fixed lengths, whereas the length of the lists changes. Another difference is tuples are immutable. That means once the tuple is defined, the elements cannot be changed. We cannot add or remove anything from it. On the other hand, lists are mutable. We can add and remove elements from it. The list and tuple have different syntaxes. Plain brackets enclose tuples, whereas lists enclosed in square brackets. Another difference between tuple and list is the memory allocation. Tuples need less memory than lists, and thus tuples are faster than lists. You can't guarantee that your program will run bug-free. That means time to time you have to debug it. It is easier to debug tuples because they are immutable. In smaller projects, you won't feel the advantages of easier debugging for tuple. However, when the project becomes larger, then tuple save much time while debugging. Whenever we have to use a list, we have to use it. A tuple is not a replacement for a list. It is simply another built-in data structure for Python. Let's declare a tuple named number underscore tuple. We use the first brackets for tuples, and the elements are 1, 2, 3. Let's print it and run it. Here is the tuple printed on the terminal window. Use another print function. This time we are going to print the elements in the tuple at index 1, and it is 2. So if we type number tuple, then use dot operator, we don't have append and insert methods. So we cannot add new items to this tuple. We also don't have the remove, clear and pop method. That means we cannot remove any item from here. We only have two methods, count and index. We use the count method to count the number of occurrences in an item and the index method to find the index of the first occurrence of that item. It clearly shows that we can only get information about the tuple. We cannot modify the information. However, we can see several methods here starting with double underscores. These are a little different known as magic method. I'll discuss them later in some other lessons. Let's try to insert something using the index value. We are trying to push 10 at index 1. Let's run the program. We get this type error because the tuple objects does not support the item assignment. So we cannot change tuples. They are immutable. That's all about tuples. Let's see what we have in the next lesson.